Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Travelers. How are you doing? I'm feeling that the energies are getting extra super intense. Um, I was guided to share more. Hence, I'm here. And also to clarify a few things from my last video, which I usually do. So, but anyway. Um, so basically... <laughs> about an hour ago probably so now it's 22 44 um uk time on the 2nd of september whilst i'm recording about an hour ago i had like kind of what i would call like a panic love attack so it was like having a panic attack and i don't usually get them i i think like you know i had something around that like you know a few times but not like kind of full-blown anyway this one was I'm not saying full-blown but anyway it was like kind of a panic attack trying to breathe trying to feel it's basically like how I can best describe it your your heart fully contracting because that's what fear is isn't it it's your heart contracting it's you being afraid so that and then afterwards immediately came the heart opening and like I did cry tears and I had a big release although it was relatively short term linearly speaking um, but that was freaking intense I don't think I ever had anything like that and I was very much connected to my twin and just so I feel a big shift happening between the twins and the divine, divine counterparts um, and I mentioned in my last video that basically I could feel they were like kind of, you know, feeling very separate, or at least, you know, some of us. As we are fully integrating and completing the royal weddings within the one consciousness, within our own fields, before we can come to full divine reunion with our counterparts and, you know, our soul family tribe. And with it, all of humanity, because it's all interlinked. It's just that those most perfect mirrors, mirrors, you know, um, projections of the self that may seem opposite, but are really the same, are to us, such as twin flames are to one another. So like they're the perfect match, the perfect mirror, the perfect... Um, compliment to one another uh, and it's beyond completing so I wanted to clarify from my last video about you know the divine masculine not fully rising basically it's it's beyond gender okay it's beyond any person all of that stuff it's energies principles playing out within the oneness as we resolve the one cosmic monad the one mind the one consciousness okay so it's like the ego is dead but it's like you know some people especially embodied in a male body are struggling more with fully letting that go than others let's put it that way and it has a lot to do with what i was shown today again and i've mentioned similar things before of that anyone within a male body you know with more male electric energy that blueprint has to integrate more of their magnetic so more of their feminine so it's usually you would be incarnated into your physical form of like 33 percent of your multi-dimensional consciousness and you need to retrieve 66 percent and one percent is with your with you know source always so it's like as in a male body, you have 33% and then 66% of your female energy you need to retrieve. That's a theory, okay? But I do resonate with that and it was kind of confirmed to me today. And in a feminine body, you need to kind of retrieve 33%. So together that makes 99. Plus again, the 1% with source always because we're always connected. It's just that we've forgotten. It's like a remembering. It's not a trying to get there the same as you're not trying to kill your ego self it's just like unraveling what's not true and alchemizing what's there it's like all about the alchemization of the shadow body really 
because that's what happens at dark matter Russia body layer level. And your consciousness needs to transmute, integrate, alchemize the shadow body. When you're very comfortable with your shadow dark self, you are fine here. As you project it onto others, people, places, things, group, whatever, systems, again, that's what kind of got us here. You're externalizing it. So becoming a shadow ninja master is the key. And you embrace it. You don't reject it. You don't suppress it. You don't deny that it's even there. Okay. And you stop projecting it onto the walls of your holographic simulation. Because you're in charge of your own reality. Especially now. So you need to take full mastery of your hologram. No matter what anyone else says, does, do, doesn't do. That's the sovereignty. That's you being God sovereign and free. And that's what happened also between the twin flames, as I mentioned in my last video. In regards to that, I felt like kind of disconnected and I could feel it was going on on both sides and both were kind of wondering what, what's going on. Although it was kind of more initiated from the feminine because she births all, because we're all being rebirthed more within the feminine, ultimately. It's like we're getting rid of the opposite gender as well as not. It's like everybody is being rebirthed within their feminine, mostly or more, whilst it's all one. And you are, you know, whilst you're in a male or female body and whatever is more prominent within you of these energies and principles will be embodied in a more pure, true form than it has been for forever. Because we're also creating not just, you know, going back to the old original divine blueprints, but creating something totally new which is a new divine blueprint plus upgrades. Again, these are very important because they are part of us being able to access a full multidimensional field and no longer be divided in different dimensions, realities, realms, universes, all of that. Okay? Because you need to remember, no matter how complicated you want to make this, it's still a projection of the one mind. You really, really like my suggestion would be take what resonates with the rest is to simplify. It's the only way to get out of any kind of AI realities are very complicated. They're very mental. They're like you can go into very deep, dark rabbit holes. It all looks oh amazing. Like the best like kind of quantum physics multiplic multiplication being thrown up on a wall. But you don't really get it, do you? So it can't be true. So the highest universal truths based in the law of one are very simple, yet they hold a great uh, level of complexity. And that's what I transmit. What I transmit, what I share really helps you to basically ascend more quickly, a little bit easier, less painful because it's all about detachment, you know, all of that stuff as well as combining it with all layers and levels of perception of the multidimensional mind. Again, I can't do this for you, nobody can, but I do know that my informa information, what I share, is hugely healing, activates, upgrades, if you're really open to it. But yeah, you need to you know, be willing to do your own, your own work, which is always the case. As most of us notice by now, so you can't put this onto anyone. And right now the big theme is co-creating, taking full charge, mastery of the dream field. We have fully reclaimed it. Divine love has reclaimed it. The cosmic monad has reclaimed it. But again, we need to do this all as one. We need to do this in sacred groups, containers, unite with our tribes, those people who really feel like home, who really get us, and where we can bounce off one another, where we complement one another, where we feel safe, secure, supported, both ways. And I cannot no longer keep just giving, 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 and people just, it's, it's like the cosmic energy updates I deliver, the videos I've been doing for so long, okay, and all the posts, that's all I do. This is like takes me all day long, four days, whatever. You know, I'm not saying like all of my day, but I constantly add to it. It's it's a constant 
process that goes into what I'm sharing to help everyone, everyone heal, balance, harmonize, upgrade, activate their blueprint. Okay, and this needs to be valued now. So for those people who already have supported me and can value it, they will keep on supporting me. Although it always seems whenever I offer something that like there's very little support. It's like always like this. So I don't even care anymore. Ultimately, I really don't because I know it's like multidimensionally fully online. I know my worth and I know, you know, how much this really can help people potentially if they really know how to apply it. And it's worth so much more than the money stated. But yeah, you need to be all in. Right now, there's a big focus on, it's like everybody makes sure for like, you know, I don't know, they're, you know, and I understand we all need to pay bills and rent and all of that stuff, but me too. So why do you expect me to provide this for free or at discounts and make everything happen? You know, it's like, I want to provide a home for my daughter too. I want all of these things too. And I've been providing for a very long time and still do things for free. And I need to support back. If you can see what I'm providing here is supporting you, then you need to support me back if you want to be part of it from now on, one way or another. Okay. So it's just like, anyway, it's many things because you really need to bridge the gap right now. I had a conversation today. And again, so before I forget, so I'm going to start off the new containers, which are so alchemical. I know nobody wants to shift and transition between like, you know, canceling payments and starting something new or shifting between messengers and all of that stuff. But it has a high alchemical purpose. I could do without it as well. If you know me enough, I can do without all the technology bullshit. Okay. But it's been shown to me. This is just, it's so, it, it's everything we do has so much power. This is not just, I can tell you, about us sitting here and waiting for heaven on earth to appear. For us, we make it the fuck happen. But it comes from the beingness. So it comes from your divine feminine, fully rebirth of a man and woman alike. And you do from the beingness. So the feminine brings in the vision, the knowing, what to do next. And then the masculine puts it into action. And it's happening within you. But yeah, most of it is from the beingness. If you think of the 66% of feminine and 33, if you apply it to every blueprint, ultimately, you know, and variations of that, whatever. But there just needs to be more, because the higher your consciousness, the less you, the less you do need to do in a physical way. But we also spurred dreams itself into physical existence to enjoy it. So I need everyone right now who's in poverty consciousness, not enoughness, not being able to afford, for example, if they really feel this is helping them and they know what I'm offering here has a lot of value to their spirit and soul, which is eternal and not this temporary crap and can put, you know, also support me back. And again, it's like, so what are you spending your money on is it the shoes is it the clothes is it the holiday is it the you know you rather pay all of your bills before you pay me basically you know in a sense because energy time frequency it's all the same i spend all of my time all of my energy to do and provide and share what i do from the heart but we also need to fully ground it right now all of us because i know there's so many watching we have so many gifts, abilities, and talents, and they don't put it into money. And money is energy. Whilst we're still living in this monopoly world, okay, you need to play with it. Be unattached, because attachment causes suffering, as well as you need to charge something for your gifts. If you want to bridge all the dimension layers and levels and totally neutralize it, because ultimately I know whenever money comes in and gets, gets all funny within the spiritual community, can we normalize this? Can we make it that, like me, I really try to find a way to, to, to hit a perfect balance, but it's really hard still because everybody's dragging at me wanting stuff for free and reduced and all of this, and it causes loads of admin for me, okay? So I can't do this anymore. I know I deserve so much, and as I claim this, I am asking you to claim this. So those of us here listening who have so many gifts, abilities, talent, 
and I don't really charge for it and yeah it should all be for free and I'm giving for my heart and everything is great I have so much yes it's all fine but then what's the next level because whatever you create from the heart would it be light language would it be a painting would it be like you taking a picture would it be like you making a piece of music would it be making you a piece of jewelry uh clothes anything creative comes from the heart done with your hands heart you know what you would do anyway because you love what you're doing and then put a freaking price tag on it because you're claiming your worth you this is your divine feminine worth okay what you would do anyway if they wouldn't pay you and then you say like hey yeah i know this because whenever you create something you are codes and keys are embedded in this so if i now because i'm interested in for example making crystal jewelry if i would start doing this now and for example offer it yeah to sell to people my keys and codes source codes okay the frequencies are constantly admit again everything i do say think feel speak transmit is encoded with this the consciousness i hold and embody you need to claim that worth. So if you think the photos you're taking, nobody's really going to care and they're not going to pay any money for it. Yeah, they won't. Because whatever you believe will be true ultimately. It's like in any profession, okay, whether it be spirituality, if you want to call it this, whether you're an artist, it doesn't matter what it is. Yes, there will always be competition and there will always be people who are very successful and other people are not. What's the difference in whether you believe you can or you can't? But you need to follow, yeah, it's like the hardest thing to first of all follow, like figure out what's your passion. Okay, but once you figure that out, then turn it into money. Don't overprice it. Don't make it too cheap either. Try to find a happy medium. I really try to find a happy medium with what I'm offering and I know I do. I know, like, this is much more worth than what's offered. And again and again, the support is very hard to come by. But anyway, okay, you need to just do your thing. And even if it's just one person who really appreciates what you're doing, okay, so be it. But you need to go beyond just someone saying, yeah, thank you. And you're just giving everything away for free. What are you going to get back? There needs to be reciprocity in the field now between the masculine and feminine also. Okay, so we can't just wish and believe and hope and pray. You need to make it happen. But yeah, most of it is from the beingness. So the higher your consciousness, the less you need to do as such. The less you need to work hard. And now it's all about effortless flow. So it's the Christ child, the golden ray, the seraphim fully returning within us all. And this is now the Christ child can come out to play, fully protected fully at one with source. No, it's always guided. It's always supported. And you just create from the heart. But you also shouldn't just give it away, especially to those who don't know how to value your time, your energy, your frequency, your gifts and abilities. And make your life harder than it should be. So, Join me if you want to. So what I'm doing tomorrow is uh, basically uh, the first introductory call to those who are joining the new Ascension um, Ascended Master Classes, which is basically a mentorship program. There are three different tiers. You can see the details below in the description box. It's pretty simple. And I spoke about more in my last video, and I'm not going to go into it now. But basically, it's just taking what I'm doing now and taking it into private containers and it's going to be much more powerful and we'll see if we do anyway so tomorrow is an introductory call okay and what I see as a theme especially right now because I see a lot happening between now and the 9-9 um, is basically us start, starting tomorrow again with an introductory call me setting the stage as really fully you know starting the brand new beginnings because it's right now all about brand new beginnings a blank canvas start all over again let the, let what was all the way the fuck go if you're this is all about those who are ready to really co-create now this is all about us taking back the dream field which already has happened 
but us all creating as one on behalf of the one. Again, not from a place of control, but from like, hey, we are the co-creators here. Let's play with this. Let's together, because it's the thing, like when we are on our own, we are in survival mode. Together, that's abundance. You cannot do everything on your own. Nobody is an island. Everything we see now is all based in separation. But we need to do like all of this stuff on our own for most of us. Okay? And it's not supposed to be like this. Yes, you need to be self-sufficient and to be fully God sovereign and free. But there's just so much you can do in that space. There's so much I can do on my own in the physical. There's just so much, you know, for example, like being happy, having a great time. You can have that on your own. Yeah, and you should get to this place again. That's what the royal weddings, the divine hierogamic unions are all about. Feeling totally whole, happy, content, peaceful, balanced within yourself. But then there's the next level, which all of this is ultimately about, the unity field, which is ultimate emotional fulfillment, which only happens with us coming together with our true beloveds and soul tribe and making the magic happen. Because together, we can create magic. And this is the time now. And this is what these containers are all about. It's ultimately one container, but three different levels to it. But in each level, you can interact with me. And they're going to be very multidimensional. And it's already all happening now. But you also, again, you need to be all in. Like, is this more important to you than, you know, certain other things? I've made so many commitments. I've sacrificed so much. I, I on a financial level all the time in accordance to what I'm being guided to I don't play by the rules I don't play by fear of not being able tomorrow to have enough money I know it will always align and the thing is you know because I've been employed all my life but you having a monthly income you know and being employed and all of that you know everything you know there's no right or wrong but let me just say right now you need to go beyond those boxes of having a budget, thinking, you know, this is what I have and something goes out here or all of a sudden, you know, big bills come up and you get all stressed. <laughs> right now, you really need to think beyond it, which is like I've cultivated this for a long time. I've cultivated multidimensional living from one night to the next in a really big way. If people are thinking, what have I created? I have served this multidimensional wave, especially since April of everything I've anchored and provided and still cruised through it quite comfortably through Airbnbs and so forth. Uh, for over five months, five, no, five months, five months now, I think I'm doing pretty good. Now, I would have liked to save that money uh, for getting something more permanent. But I know it's here now. And again, everything serves its purpose. And I can see the bigger picture. Again, I'm not going to go into the details now because people may misconstrue my situation anyway, one way or another, as I keep being shown. So um, basically, this is all about understanding that your spiritual growth, expansion is eternal. What worth do you put to it? I do not, for example, charge extraordinary amounts of money. They are fair. And they're really worth a lot more than what I offer. They really are. And I need to be supported back in an equal, appropriate way. Because I know I'm worth it. And as I'm asking this of the field, and again, I know many people are connected to me who are in Poverty consciousness, they're doing their thing, they're not really working, they don't have an income, so they don't really have enough money to give towards these things. But the thing is, you really need to get out of this right now. Or even if you have a fixed income, the boxes don't exist, okay? The limits are imaginary. You need to break out of this right now. Money could come in any kinds, ways, shapes, and forms. It's beyond money. It really is. Just... Just focus on what you want beyond what I'm offering, okay, in general, and just know it is. Like, I have the same, you know, similar stuff going on, as well as I'm trying to bridge the dimensions between what I'm offering and it's super high advanced information that really helps us ascend and expand very quickly and more effortlessly 
less painfully, okay? And I need people to respect that because it's been a huge issue in many different ways, shapes, and forms. And again, this is us breaking through all of these spiritual financial barriers because we're supposed to now, right now, bring in the spiritual into the physical. It's not to deny the physical. It's just not that you're depending on it. Anything could happen to me any now moment in time for everything I've been through, I would always be fine. That's fearlessness. That's true freedom, liberation. You could put me in literally any fucking situation. I mean that. Because I've been fucking through it. Through infinite lifetimes, literally. So that's what gets you out of it. So you need to push through the fear. Fear. This is true liberation. Break out of the Maya of the mind. If you want to join me in my quantum containers, these are literally like the Ascended Master Councils coming together, co-creating now, taking full charge of the dream field, of the realities. It's already happening. It's coming online. I'm so excited. I feel fucking great as well as passionate because right now you need to break through any remaining poor me, Victim, victimizer, consciousness, not enough, can't do it, not powerful enough, all these restriction limits, no nah, systems, okay? It's all imaginary. And reclaim all of your power and turn it into fuck this shit. Fuck the fucking systems. I'm imagining all of the shit. You're the creator of the systems. You hold them in your field. The monsters, the demons, the AI, everything is you. Sukaainata karate. So I really need everybody to rise one way or another. Okay, again, you have this all inside of you. But if you want to do this together as one with me and support me also back in a really tangible way, this is the way. Okay, the Ascended Masterclasses. And the details are below. Because, you know, I could do this forever for free and everybody would just happy, happily take and like project all that shit at me and all of this kind of different layers and levels. Okay, and have all of these excuses and still not support me back. So I'm done with this. And I don't mean this bad. I will still, you know, share as guided. But generally, yeah, we're over this. It's a, it's a general theme. Okay, it could happen in your own. Again, you don't need to do what I'm doing. If you're constantly helping, fixing people around you and, you know, whenever you need them, they're not really there or there's very little support back. Yeah, you're going to feel drained. And right now I've claimed all of my power back because I know what I'm doing in my field and having boundaries and discernment. And believe me, when I block anyone or anyone, anyone blocks me, usually I don't like the shit, okay? I, I'm not a blogger kind of friend. But right now it's just like, it's just energetic boundaries. Ultimately they're temporary. But it's like you need to just let everybody sort out their own energy field right now, Okay. And But it's the same as also what I wanted to say about the masculine and feminine. Like the feminine doesn't expect the masculine to come in and like save and rescue and fix her or her life. Okay? Or the other way around. But they're still also there to support one another, to bring one another home to each own true authentic self. Mostly energetically, telepathically, all of what's happening, many different layers and levels. And again, everybody is helping us do this. But it's like what I've seen is with kind of like there being a little bit of a delay, it's one perception of describing it. Although it's not really. Any delay is really an acceleration, as I see it. Is that it's, it's the feminine, the true divine feminine within each and every one of us had to fully rise and say no to the distorted masculine aspects. Okay, the, the gaslighting, the false projections, the attacks, the, you know, not making her feel safe. That's where it starts. And again, it's what the mind does to the heart. It's whenever your heart is speaking to you and you tell it to shut up or you're not right or just be quiet. And, you know, especially it happens within males, shutting down their emotional body, their heart, of the guidance it's giving them, and it's like the mind is constantly overriding what the heart already knows, okay, which is the monkey mind, the conditioned mind, the mind control, which we've been breaking through in all ways, shapes, and forms, especially with what I've been sharing. Because your mind is your greatest tool, as well as your biggest weakness, in a way, because it's most, you know, it had 
has been most attacked, manipulated, and made think that it's your heart's fault that you got it wrong. No. It's your perception of what has even happened, what's happening, how everything even works, who you are, anyone else's. That's the problem here. Okay. So anyway, so the feminine within us all had to fully rise our intuition, our wisdom, our guidance to say no to the false masculine aspects within us all. All starts and comes back to the self. To now for the true divine masculine to fully rise in the physical. Okay. Because those males embodied, especially on the ascension journey, who have my deepest respect. Okay. Um, they need to see it within themselves what have been going wrong. And again, within us all. We need to really be able to see through again the divine feminine needs to guide us through, show us the truth, and then for the masculine mind to come on board, and then it's the greatest tool of dissolving, co-creating the realities you really want to see, breaking through all of the programming, using your mind as a tool to manifest now what you really want to see, together with your heart, because it's your heart and your mind, your emotions and your thoughts which are creating. And after all of the disconnect between the masculine and feminine, what I could feel like today, beautiful, new, very deep, intimacy connection happening again between the twin flames and a whole new layer level because again they had to fully come into full integration within the self but as well as you know we're all here to be our own hero as well as we're not supposed to do us do this all on our own nobody like would be very sad like you couldn't we are here you know projecting each one another out it's the same as we don't just want to be spiritual we want to have the fun and the physical which we get into now after all the crazy mayhem and suffering. So it's all about the masculine and the feminine together manifest. So the feminine brings in the vision, the intuition, the prophecies. And the masculine is here to manifest this, to put it into action. You're not supposed to be just one or the other. We need to be now, right now, what I'm getting in a really big way, really grounded. So that's what I really want to do. It's the same as what I do. It's like I'm very etheric. I know that etheric, you know, I'm very multidimensional the way I speak. And now it lulls people kind of into sleepy states. It's, I can't help. It's literally just a gamma waves, like the Godhead that I am connected to and constantly transmit through the frequencies I'm embodying and transmitting through my heart center and every cell and atom of my being is my whole auric field which is my gift my abilities i put everything into being able to transmit and be in the level of service that i am i need everyone to rise up now everybody needs to rise up a level at least or several the levels boxes limits are imaginary literally you're making them up i really help you i'm here at least to help you to fully break free of the matrix of the false illusions of the Maya of the mind. Leave it all the way the fuck behind right now. Keep connecting to your heart. Keep, keep connecting what's really true. Okay, it's so important right now. It's all inside of you, but ultimately we're here to do it together. You know, as well as the masculine feminine needs to come to full embodiment and divine union within, the last bit again is done together. Like it's it's like, you know, you've been through so much shit and now you really need your tribe and your real family and your real beloveds around you to fully heal your heart. Because you haven't gone through all of this alone to end up alone, have you? Have we? Like, I literally want to try again. Like, fuck this shit. But yeah, we need to be fully able to own our own shit. And it's not about being perfect. It's just about being like, I speak in my group, in my Greyland container, I've spoken some very hard truths. And some people don't like it, and it's fine. But I come out however I come out, depending on the energies going on. The same as I do in my videos. Okay, but there's no eternal condemnation, or nobody like judging you here, or condemning you, or, you know, putting up a barrier. But it's like for maybe temporary time being, you need to have like somebody blocked. 
because you can feel it's interfering in your energetic field. They can help themselves, so you need to help all of us, sort of thing. And yeah, sometimes blocking, you know, rejection is God's protection. But again, it's not like there's nothing personal here. There's nothing like, but you just need to let the fuck go right now of any kinds of attachments to people, places, things. Love is not attachment. Attachment is what creates suffering. Believe me, I've had huge problems with attachments. The attachment is my, it's one of my main gene keys as well as like, uh, which is the highest form of celebration. It's where you know, and I'm really there now. It's where I was shown yesterday, where it's just celebration of whatever happens doesn't happen. It's just great because ultimately, yeah, manifestation in its highest sense is like whatever supposed to happen or not happen will happen. As well as we are here to be the conscious, super conscious co-creators now of our realities. It's both ends. Again, where you point the error, especially when we come together as fully God sovereign free beings, no longer in competition, no longer feeling like more or less than. I need everybody to rise now and get out of poverty consciousness and really claim their gifts and abilities in a really real and tangible way. There's nothing to deny here. You're not supposed to deny the physical. You're here to supposed to embrace and unify. Believe me, I know what I'm speaking about. I have a very, you know, like, again, I'm very etheric. I, you know, haven't enjoyed much of this physical embodiment, quite frankly. But I know that's all what it is about to now fully enjoy what we came here to be, for the spirit to be embodied in the physical. And we're here to bring this all the way down. Okay, so now especially the masculines who have been very much in the spiritual to integrate a feminine need to really fully come in now as the action element. Know what they want, go for it, like the happy fool that we all are. And again, it's happening within all of us. And people like me can just lift the example and prove to you that it's working. It might not always look like we wanted to. But then I also know I've done a lot of grid work that I was supposed to do. So it's all perfect. And I also know that now I'm settling down and it's all coming together. Everything is aligning because we've cleared out all of the fucking mayhem interferences, especially between the twin flames. For everything to complete now. Because again, we carry the divine blueprints, source codes for creation. But you need to own them. You need to reclaim all of your power, all of your gifts, abilities. And no longer just give them away and think that don't carry any fucking worth. Because you have some crazy relationship with money. If you take, you know, again, you're in a video game. Instead of money, it's gold coins up there that make you be able to do shit. Like, I don't care for money. Everybody just wants freedom. No, you don't want happiness, freedom. So yeah, money doesn't make you happy. But yeah, if you don't need to worry about your bills and how to survive from one moment to the next or month to the next, yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? But we need to, once you really, really get that you're projecting all of this and you have created all of this, you're the only one who can collapse and create whatever you want to see. Talking to myself, yeah? So join me if you feel guided to only really the true Ascended Master co-creators ready to fully freaking rise and fly now because we're ready to fly. <laughs> the diamond rainbow sun body, multidimensional DNA coming fully online. Crystalline activations, the crystalline core, crystalline covens, the, the crystalline diamonds. It's all coming online. New Earth is here, okay? Tune within its freaking quantum. Join me if you like to. Details are below. Introductory call tomorrow at 9.09 UK PM time. When you sign up, you'll see the appropriate uh, posts with all the call-in details. So I've started posting in the groups. And yes, if you're still in the Ascension Express container, Cancel now. It's the right thing to do. Make a note when it expires and then just sign up for the new Ascended Masterclasses. You're just kind of getting a reduced price in the meantime, you know? So, um, and it's all there. And what I see happening right now is basically we do tomorrow's call, introductory call. Then we're going to do another call or YouTube live. I'll see what I'm being guided to. Uh, probably on Wednesday. In preparation then for the 9-9 call, if we make it that freaking far. 
otherwise I multidimensionally meet you in the quantum space and you know the council sitting together co-creating reality because basically the and I'm going to put out the description for this group call and then on the 909 so a group call and activation on the 909 which will be all about collapsing and co-creating multidimensional multidimensional realities as the ascended masters creators that we are okay so it will be available separately for the 3333 as before that's on the 909 and i will publish the details asap um, you might find them soon also in the description box a link to that uh, but it's not fully finished just yet but i know this is the general so we're going to build up on this because this is all about us not listening to what, because if you know anything right now, there's a, a timeline war going on. Yeah? Have you realized? So, um, basically, if you haven't noticed yet, we're in a timeline war. What are timelines? They're realities. We are in quantum realities now. You're not stuck in cycles anymore unless you want to be. Um, everything is imagination. Everything is consciousness. Consciousness, your realities are based on your deepest held beliefs and expectations as well as collectively held, okay? Which is what we're working on. But what you need to understand is that realities, timelines are consciousness. So whatever you believe is going to happen, and especially like right now what's happening, especially in the spiritual community which is what most of us are focused in on is all of these crazy timelines being propagated um i mean i don't look at the wider spectrum of what's happening really outside of that in a 3d sense and we tuned out of that for a while now so what i can see the other layer of that in the spiritual community which is very much about you know how long something takes what's going to take um what is it going to take or uh who is doing what it all keeps you in this waiting position and somebody telling you what's going to happen and when it's going to happen how long it's going to take what's going to take it's taking you out of creator consciousness you need to realize it for what it is or what i'm here to do is for us together as one to co-create now the realities we want to see this is not about me telling you, anyone else telling you what's going to happen, when it's going to happen or not, what it takes. It's imagination. You're making all of this up ultimately. And we're making it up as we go along. So none of this is fully done until it's done, until it has fully manifested. So we can keep speaking about different probabilities until we collapse them and make them happen. So that's the masculine now, fully coming online, on board, fully stepping forward within each one of us, men, women alike. Because, you know, sometimes in my last video, I said, you don't need the feminine or the masculine. Yeah, we all need the feminine and the masculine within. We, like, don't need a man or a male or a female in our lives, ultimately, to complete us. Again, sometimes I use the wrong word, so to say, as well as, again, it's about divine union within and then coming together as the original twin flames counterparts and i will stick to this to the end of fucking linear time for sure <laughs> for us all to come together as one tribe with the right people to fully complete the picture the puzzle of the cosmic monad to heal our hearts because again it's not about someone else rescuing you fixing you saving you as well as we're not supposed to walk this path on our own. It's about supporting one another. It's the same as in a relationship. Like, you don't want a masculine like to fight people off you as such. As well as, you know, if they would be there, you probably wouldn't have, you know, certain people approach you or bug you. It, it's an energetic thing that happens. Where you just feel safe and secure. You have somebody else to share your life with. You know, your worries, you don't need them to fix it for you or your life for you. It's just that you carry stuff together. And again, you compliment one another and you do things from another for another. You know, are different things you're good at. And you know what I mean? But it's not just one person doing everything or the majority of stuff. 
or the other. It's about, you know, it's like when we come together as soul tribes now to co-create, it's like I can't do everything on my own. There's just so much I can do on my own, okay? If we come together, like, you know, I don't know, people can help me with X, Y, Z, if the right people are coming together and really want to do it. You know, for example, or if you're with a partner, you know, I don't know, you just carry up the freaking bags from the shopping together instead of having to carry it on your own in the most simplest way. But you get me. It's just sharing the load. Okay? So not just some of us here have to carry a whole lot. And I know ultimately, again, this is all, loads of us can feel this, but we really, as we come together and no longer need to do it on our own, it becomes lighter. I can feel such a new lightness of being coming in. It's all of this karmic shit, of the miasma, all of this stuff clears fully. And ultimately, it's the inversions within the one consciousness, simplified. The fears, the doubts, the various insecurities, okay? And that's what the twin, twin flames help one another with. Two, three, three, three. Now I'm going to stop. Again, I'm talking way more than I ever wanted to, as I usually do. But again, this, these are all really like gifts from my heart to yours, okay? But you also need to get at a deeper level where I'm coming from. And many others of us, because if we in the spiritual community cannot value what people like me offer, then how do we ever expect to be able to make a living out of this? Because again, you're just not seeing value. Again, if it was beyond the money, the gold coins, who are you giving it to? What are you supporting? The systems, the people that really are helping you on a daily basis? Or you just think this should all be for free? Like, I don't ask you to work for free, really, you know, that kind of thing. But it needs to be said still, apparently. Anyway, so just remember, you're the ascended masters here to fulfill your own destiny and hero's journey. Again, we're not here, like we own, we are our own hero, as well as we're here to complete us all together as one. This is the tribes physically coming back together. I've energetically, mentally, emotionally, held this spiritually, and now I know this is coming together without me needing to do anything as such. The tribes coming back together, the original twin flames, founder races, race, Essenes, gray lines, rose lines, cosmic dragons, magic gray queens and kings, okay? All reunited around the campfire, it's here now. It's been on for a while, linearly speaking. Well, weeks and months, which is really nothing within the eternal space of quantum time, believe me. So it really is all about frequency alignment, not time. Even when we hear divine timing, it's like I don't I don't like the word time, especially now. It's alignment, okay? And it happens from within. So remember, you are the powerful co-creator of your own realities always, as well as we're here supposed to do this as one. So let's really come together with the right people right now and do this, complete this fully. It's here now. Infinite quantum possibilities here, now. So those who feel guided to join me if you like, details are in the description box. I'll um, publish the details on the next official like open group call on the 909 base soon. So keep an eye out for that. And otherwise, I hope I see some of you tomorrow at this introductory group call for our Ascended Master classes, the council's meeting, and making this happen. All right. Let's take all of our power back. Again, you can also do something similar. Just try not to maybe fully copy me. Okay. Um, because any kind of group we create from within that oneness, within the highest alignment of divine will, again, it should not just come from me, but you know, your own inner guidance of what you're here to do, your purpose is your mission, not just copying someone else's. And then using those containers, even if it's just two or three people or more, to co-create your own new realities right now. Okay, it's again, it's everything we say, think, feel, do, every action we take, all of this is this. Align all of this with the realities you want to experience, not what anyone else is telling you, what's going on, not going on. It's a fucking illusion. 
it's not real. Remember, it's not real. From deep within. Take command of the dream field of your realities and the collective ones. Anyone telling you there's any looping happening? Is feeding that consciousness that is falling and going all the way down. Be very aware what's being propagated right now. So many inversions. Very intricate. It's your job to figure out what's true and what's not. Ultimately, to switch off from a lot of that stuff, what other people are saying is happening, not happening, when it's happening, what's not, you know, necessary, blah, blah, blah. And go within. Keep going within. It's written into your DNA, your own divine unique blueprint. I'm here to help you activate that, help you remember what's really true and what's not. Us together all is one. So let's do it. Okay, and we heal that heart totally, fully, all as one. Divine love makes that happen as all coming together. All right, and true divine love. True. Okay, I leave it here. So much love, so many blessings, and I'll see you. Bye, bye, bye. Or not. <laughs>